So the Stoneheim Caves is a series of chambers and passages underground uh, that over millions and millions of years accumulated and, and grew deposits that have lots and lots of fossils in. And those fossils are very interesting because they cover a time span when our relatives were also in the cradle of humankind and we have their bones, now fossils, in the caves and chambers underground. We have um, potentially five different species of different types of, of, of human ancestor, human relative, um, from Australopithecus, which is one of the, the earliest that we find, uh, through to what are the earliest representatives of, of us, through to really odd looking species like something called Paranthropus, all inhabiting the cradle at different times and at some points interacting with each other, but also interacting with lots and lots of carnivores. So there were some fairly large carnivores, saber-toothed cats, large hyenas, lion, leopard, all using this landscape at the same time. We also have more recently discovered the most complete early human relative skeleton that's ever been found anywhere in the world. And it's nicknamed Littlefoot uh, and it's currently at Fitz University in the vault uh, and it was excavated here by Professor Ron Clark through late 90s to early 2000s. The Stokenane Caves is a very large cave network covering five kilometers of chambers and passages. Each one of those has had some kind of deposit with fossils or even stone tools in it and we are always excavating slightly different areas and we're always finding new material and material that is very different to what we've seen before and so at any one point in time we have excavation teams working underground but also in a, a place like this which has a lot of material that was previously excavated we're always reanalyzing that material applying new scientific techniques and finding incredible new information and detail about those specimens. I'm a fossil technician here at Stirkfontein Caves. I started working here from 1999 up until today. My father used to work here as well. Uh, here at Stirkfontein, excavating, taking out the big block of pressure. Then inside that pressure, we searching inside the pressure. Then we find some fossils. Then we clean that fossils. After taking out that fossils, we making a mold of that fossil and then making a cast after that. My dad was working here from 1972. He was he, wa he worked here for 40 years, yes, and uh, he was doing a great job, and uh, he was found a little foot with Ronald Luck and Stephen Mutsumi, and Ronald Luck he found a piece of a bone, and he gave my dad and Stephen Mutsumi to go and Silverberg to look for uh, for that bone, where that bone came from. Then only to find out there is a f almost complete skeleton around the world that. My dad and Stephen Mutsum and Rod Lang found it silverback here at Thorpontain Caves. Here we, we found a lot of, lot of things here because of, we are doing a lot of things because of, we have a swark runs, we have a chrome dry, coopers and Thorpontain. And we want to share our stories since we closed with the something that we found here, bones, stone tools we found here since we closed and we want to share with the public. When they see the job that they are doing here, making cast, because our cast, I can say, it is the, the original cast. Yes, when we paint it, it looks like a, like a fossil, a real fossil. That's why people are so interested about this place. Uh, what I, well, I can say, I learn uh, every day. I learn something new. I'm looking for the public to, uh, to, uh, to come in uh, large numbers uh, to come and see uh, the world uh, at his site of uh, uh, Star Quantum Caves and to, to, uh, to come and learn more about uh, where 
we, uh, we can move from. Yeah. We're creating new spaces where researchers will engage and interact with the public. We are having rolling exhibits where we're showing what the brand new material that we're finding almost every day. Um, we're working with the guides in a, in a very uh, sort of intimate way to make sure that they understand all of the processes of science that not only go on at Stirkfontein, but in laboratories all over the world. Uh, and so bringing all of those strands of, of truly multidisciplinary research together and, and exhibiting that is something that the new Stoke Fontaine is going to try and do.